Welcome to BoobTube, bringing you comedic commentary on the absurdity of our collective Wellesley experience. Tonight, we're talking about... <sighs> Girl, camera's rolling. Sorry, sorry. I'm running on four hours of sleep today. Did you, like, have a paper due or something? No, I was just practicing my all-nighter techniques. It's these damn midterms. Practicing all-nighters? That is the most foolish thing I have heard all day. Well, I sure hope so. <gasps> Because live from Wellesley College, you are watching Boob Tube. What's on the Boob Tube? 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 You can turn the world on with a smile. Thanks for joining us here on BoobTube. I'm Caroline Marks. And I'm Tara Gupta. A dark cloud has descended over Wellesley College, and no, it is not the dreary East Coast forecast. Midterm season is upon us, so tonight we are talking all things academic. We have breaking news. Reporter Elizabeth Cho is live at the Clapp Library where several students are partaking in a protest against the library's limited hours of operation. You know what they say, you can take the girl out of the library, but you can't take the library out of the girl. Yeah, they definitely don't say that. Occupy Clapp has been going on all day today, but the protesters did take a quick break for Sunday Sundays. Have there been any injuries? Unfortunately, yes. There was a bruised knee due to a sharp table corner. But the student is expected to make a full recovery just in time for tonight's Occupy Clap sleep-in. Wellesley woman who will sleep? Precisely. Oh, Campus Poe has just been called in. Looks like it's going to be a very long night. Back to you at the studio. By the way, I just totally failed my 300 level multivariable linear triple integral super death math class to the squared. I got an A minus. My life is over. Oh my god. That's okay. There's always next time. In other news, Wellesley custodial staff are experiencing health care and pay cuts, which makes this journalist wonder whether our stressful lives here at Wellesley with A-minuses, Steinbeck, grapefruit and s'more endowments, and a college campus with far too many hills is really the worst thing that could be happening to us right now. Okay, okay, I get it. You want to know what's legitimately stressful? Registration time. I didn't get any of the classes that I wanted, and seniors get to register first. No fair. I feel that. Well, Wellesley Freshies every year struggle to go the distance to get the best schedule possible. While seniors roll out of their bed five minutes before registration, sprinkle a little fairy dust, and soar to success. Salutations from BoopTube. We are honored to greet you once again on our wonderful platform as you watch us blindly on the scintillating pixels on your screen. So, let's check up on Occupy Clap. Reporter Cho. Oh, oh, camera's rolling. 
Things have gone from bad to worse, Tara. The librarians won't budge, and the students have had no choice but to take a librarian hostage. We're also demanding, I mean, the students are also demanding to have the freedom to eat any snack without restriction. If their demands aren't met, they will, and I quote, read Homer's Iliad in original Greek until the librarian dies of boredom. And how has Campus Poe responded? Actually, pretty nice. They brought pizza over. Hang in there, Cho. Hang in there? Are you kidding? She's out there with Campus Poe eating pizza. What's next? Joining in on the sleeping and singing Kumbaya? Wellesley College is renowned for its top-notch art history department. So much so that Mona Lisa Smile was created as an homage for all of Wellesley to adore. It's an inspiring movie about the early emergence of feminism and female individuality here at Wellesley. No way! Mona Lisa Smile was a diplomatically safe film about the falsely nostalgic 1950s. All those elitist Wendy Wellesleys found a mommy figure in Julia Roberts, playing Catherine Watson, who was a <gasps> nonconformist, <gasps> bohemian rebel chick. Can you imagine talking about boys in marriage with any of your professors now? Today, we are exploring the feminist art movement from the 1960s to modern day. That's not on the syllabus. No, it's not. I thought I'd test you and see whether you were actually listening to me or just writing down everything I say. We are living in very conservative times where less than 5% of the Met's modern art section are female. Yet 85% of nude portraits there are women. Times when half our country doesn't believe in equal pay for women and wants to suppress reproductive rights and sexual liberation. I have all the sexual liberation I want right here at Wellesley. You would, Giselle. You would. Now, in this first picture, can anyone tell me? Yes. Judith Beheading Hollow Fernes by Artemisia Gentileschi, 1612, Italy. Okay, next. This is so easy. The Dinner Party, Judy Chicago, 1979. Well, you girls certainly do come prepared. I love strong women. She's so fit. <laughs> Give it a rest, Giselle. You were thinking it. Look at this one. I got my acceptance letter to Wharton. It's all that we've always wanted. I thought you were taking the year off for Teach for America. There's no money in that. I'm accepting the role I was born to fill. First CEO of... Are you still thinking about moving to New Guinea? Betty, we can either do what Wellesley wants us to do and can Or perform. no, be ourselves. But what will future scholars see when they study us? There you are, ladies. Wellesley graduates. Magna cum laude. Off to Wharton. Exactly what you were trained to do. Sounds like the Iliad reading is in full force at Occupy Clap. Here's reporter Elizabeth Cho, live with... Uh-huh. See, she did join the sleep-in. Why does she get to sleep and I don't? Uh, I think I fell asleep. No one can escape the intoxicating grasp of the Iliad. Looks like Occupy Clap is finally at an end. Hey, guys, did we win? Can, can we stay here past midnight? Note to self, do not ever send reporter Elizabeth Cho to cover protests. Democracy. It's contagious. That's all for BoobTube. Thanks for watching, and may your number two pencils stay sharp. And may your deadlines remain distant. By the way, what do they do after clap closes? Thank you.